Hey guys, this is Jay with the Douchebag Brigade, and today we're going to go into a few different things. I'm going to talk about the big letdown that was TGS, as I've been talking about, but I'm also going to talk about some silver lining points and, uh, you know, some reasons why we probably didn't get Shin Megami Tensai 5 information. And uh, I'm also going to kind of go into uh, something I've been thinking about for a while, and uh, I'm really curious to get your guys' feedback, because... I'm trying to decide what kind of let's play we should, uh, I should take part of, uh, for you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm putting a poll out on Twitter. You can see it at, uh, Shin Megami Rosen or just, or, uh, was it, uh, Shin Megami Rosen 20, something like that. I forget my Twitter handle. Um, I'll have my Twitter handle in the thing below. Um, but so... Anyway, you'll see the same image of Belial that you see a lot of times on my uh, on my uh, banner or whatever it is for uh, YouTube, my little avatar thing. But anyway, so what I want to get into today is <clears throat> a little bit about what I should play and what you guys feel is in something that's not really covered on YouTube or any kind of Twitch channel. I mean, obviously, uh, probably still going to be silent games, maybe not uh, live, but you will be able to watch. I will I will try to leave everything raw as opposed to editing anything out. I want you guys to see the pitfalls, the struggle, the pain that comes into playing one of these games. I mean, if you're going to bother to watch, you might as well watch it to its entirety and its fullest uh, just to get a feel for the game itself. So what I'm thinking I'm going to actually take advantage of and play, um, I've put a list of games. I put up Majin Tensai 2. Um, I've put up continuing basically my Persona 3 fem female MC run, but I feel like a lot of people probably already know that or I can see it on YouTube. Um, I put up for uh, Devil Survivor 1 Overclock, so people who haven't seen the 8th day, maybe just played the DS version, can see something more than what, they're, what they've seen. And I'm going to do uh, out of the Kiaku uh, Megami Tensai mix, which is Megami Tensai 1 and 2 put together, remade for Super Nintendo, uh, Super Famicom, whatever. Um, I'm going to play the second part and record it for, the, for, uh, for you guys, if that's the game you decide to go with. I also threw Soul Hackers in um, at the bottom of that poll. It's not a polling option. But if enough people comment and are like, we want Soul Hackers, then I'll just jump right on the 3DS version of Soul Hackers. So I've left a pretty open uh, <clears throat> option for you guys, whatever it is that you feel you want to see more. So far from what I've seen, Majin Tensai 2 is the front runner, and Megami Tensai 2 or Kyaku Tensai, Megami Tensai Part 2 is also up there. So... You know, I hope the polling continues, uh, whatever it is at the end of the day, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm looking forward to any of the games listed, uh, especially I'm in the mood for an SRPG, so Majin Tensai 2 or uh, Devil Survivor, either one, I'm really down to play. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys to make the final decision and the final call, so um, I'm excited for that. But so, let's get into the uh, TGS. So... I know we were all let down. We expected more from Atlas. We expected this to be the big reveal. And I'm one of those people where I was really, really disappointed. I wanted, uh, I really wanted to see, uh, you know, my favorite, basically my favorite genre, my favorite, one, my favorite genre, what, two, my favorite uh, series within that genre, and uh, three, pretty much the only game that still really holds my attention. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is my it, is probably going to be one of my favorite games in the Megami Tensei universe in the Mega Ten world. I mean, that's really where I was hoping to go to with this, and um, so I'm as disappointed as the rest of you. But I've come up with a few reasons why I think perhaps this was slowed down, and I will be honest with you. I think other than the fact that. Maybe Atlas just doesn't have a lot of experience creating these models. You know, they're really working from the ground up. And probably a bunch of things other YouTubers have told you. You know, they're, they're putting this stuff together for the first time. But 
you know, it also, you might come back with, well, then show us just what you've done so far, or at least let us know, give us updates. Yeah, they could have done that, but I think a lot of this is that they wanted to focus on the Tokyo Mirage Sessions re-release because I think they saw that that game garnered a fair amount of fans, money, acclaim from people with the Wii U. And we know that the Wii U was not the most popular system, you know? It, it's 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 rare that you have a system in the same uh, situation as the Wii U. It was kind of like a half system, like in between the Wii and the Switch. We gave you something a little, like almost like a, a 3DS XL. I mean, it, you know, it, it didn't feel like a real of its own console. So the game kind of got squandered. And I think what they're realizing is that they put the time and the money into creating that game. And they want to give it to a system that's selling well to see what kind of return on investment they can get for that game while still pleasing the fans they already have. So I think that's really where it comes, uh, what it comes down to. I think it's, you know, they're a company. Obviously, Atlas needs to make money. And, and so, hands down, if they feel that this is an opportunity for them to make some more money on something that isn't Persona then I can imagine they're going to do it. And not to mention they're riding on the coattails as well of the sudden Fire Emblem uh, boost, you know, or burst, or explosion, whatever, bomb. No, not bomb, explosion. Because I've been a Fire Emblem fan for a long time, but I will be honest, there are people who never play. And so... With that character design model in mind, that all of a sudden Fire Emblem's getting all this traffic and people are interested and <clears throat> all that stuff, people who never even knew about the game before, I mean, obviously this is a chance where anything with Fire Emblem in the title is going to, uh, is going to help. So, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, even though this isn't Fire Emblem, it does say, uh, Fire Emblem X Shin Megami Tensei, so... You know, there's going to be weight and merit in the name. Not to mention, it's got the Shin Megami Tensei moniker as well. Though, I guess I'm not sure if that title stuck once they made it Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I guess it's just SMT backwards. But whatever. Point being, there is money to make. Atlas is a company. They have to make money. And so, we got to understand that part. And maybe it was just that they didn't want to take attention away from this re-release. Because even if they say, let's say they did have Shin Megami Tensei V prepared and ready to go. Let's say it would be ready January 2020. Just in a fantasy perfect world. The problem comes down to if they release it then. You're going to run into a similar issue that we're running into now. You're going to put out a game that's going to go up against another property of their own and really that could harbor say that could that could affect sales negatively remember that both of these are only for nintendo or switch so it's not like oh if we put this out in january the same time as uh tokyo mirage sessions we'll be able to get the playstation people as well as the nintendo people no it doesn't work like that obviously so <clears throat> you put we're put in a Atlas is kind of put in a position where they probably, even if they had it ready in a perfect world, would wait till March or May or June because that's when they would feel that it's prepared and ready for release and doesn't have competition. That's what my thought process is on that half of it. And it's really disappointing because as a fan, you just want the game. You want a great product, but you don't want to wait. And I mean, that's just human nature. You know, obviously, instant gratification. Something we all want and wish for. So, you know, I don't think that we can really be too upset. Um, you know, it'll come in time. It'll come when it's ready. But unfortunately, that's just not today. And wasn't at the Tokyo Mirage... Uh, Tokyo Mirage... Tokyo Game Show. So... You know, we're just going to have to wait a little longer, like they say. That annoying, we'll just have to wait a little longer. But how about you tell us how long? Uh, but 
So hopefully we'll get some updates soon though, at least just some like, hey guys, guess what we're showing you, and here's this, and here's what it's going to look like, and here's the battle system, and what's changed. Because I'm going to make a separate video. One thing that is completely throwing me for a loop, what does it mean that we're taking the atmosphere and gameplay of Shin Megami Tensei uh, Nocturne, or 3, and combining it with the battles, the demon raising system of Shin Megami Tensei 4. What does that mean? Because I didn't see a difference in demon raising system short of, I guess, the talking whisper stuff where you get them how you can transfer moves to to the main to the uh main character i guess but i certainly didn't see it like uh like that much of a difference where you would say the demon raising qualities of a separate game i mean you should have just basically said three and fours gameplay and three and fours demon raising qualities like i guess just as it was a strange comment i thought but anyway, <clears throat> you know, uh, that, that, that just struck me as odd. And maybe we can get into a discussion of what that could really mean or what you think the gameplay is going to be like. Because I'm hoping they don't change too much. So I'm hoping they don't change anything, to be fair, except for graphical measures and a new storyline. But, you know, everybody wants different things and things are changing all the time. So we'll see what happens. But... Anyway, guys, this has been base. Uh, this has been another episode of breaking down the TGS. And of course, please remember to go on Twitter and vote, or leave a comment here, and let me know what game you want to see let's played because I'm ready to play them. I just want to hear what you guys want to watch because I'm. I, I think it's at a point where me just playing and posting isn't going to grab the attention the same way that. If you guys tell me what you want to watch, we'll grab your attention. But anyway, so this is Jay with the Douchebag Brigade, and I'm out.